Erica Ben, yeah, after flight attendants discovered that slightly disarmed door, they confronted that passenger, and that's when they say they notified the captain and said they feared for everyone's safety on board. They said they needed to land as soon as possible. Shortly after that, authorities say that suspect got up and stabbed one of the flight attendants. Tonight, a Lemonster man is in federal custody, accused of trying to open an emergency exit door mid-flight and stabbing a flight attendant. According to this criminal complaint, 33-year-old Francisco Severo Torres moved the door handle a quarter of the way to the unlock position and also disarmed the emergency slide. When flight attendants confronted him, Torres is accused of stabbing one three to four times. In an interview with the FBI, Torres admitted to investigators he, quote, went into the bathroom on the plane and and broke a spoon in half to make a weapon. When he came out of the bathroom, Torres went into the galley and disarmed the door and tried to open it unsuccessfully. Torres admitted to knowing that if he opened the door, many people would die. After stabbing the flight attendant, federal agents say it was fellow passengers who jumped in to restrain him until they landed in Boston. Ford is restrained after him open the emergency exit. This all happening yesterday on flight 2609 from Los Angeles to Boston with 45 minutes left in the flight. A United spokesperson thanking their crew and passengers for their quick actions. Also saying, quote, we have zero tolerance for any type of violence on our flights. This customer will be banned from flying on United pending an investigation. Now, Torres is now facing fe several federal charges, including interference and attempted interference with flight crews using a dangerous weapon. If convicted, he could face up to life in prison. We're live at the airport this evening. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5. Peter